How's it going, everyone? Welcome back. Everyone's ha having. I don't. I don't even know why we start the conver uh, how we start the conversation like this. Sometimes, hopefully, everyone's here, uh, holding up well. You know, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna stop there. Uh, <laughs> guess you can laugh it off. Bengals one in four. Bengals something's different. Something is different about this Bengals football team than the ones in the past. Where I think the ones in the past under Joe Cool, Joe Bro, and company, they find a way to win every single game. They find a way to win the close games. The Bengals, New England, down seven, put the football in Joe Burrow's hands. Do not win the game with time to just kill the clock, score the touchdown, win. Looked like a little bit of a miscommunication there with Burrow and you know Zach Taylor in that game because it was third and five. Or ended up getting five on third down. Bro, it's like, we're going to go for this, right? No, they punt it. They, they lose the game because the defense get getting a stop. But the defense got the first stop they needed to. Kansas City, punt the football late in the game. Give the ball back to Mahomes. Sell him for field with the drive before that. Mahomes wins the game. Had a chance to close the door with your elite franchise quarterback. Baltimore, 38-38. Ugly game on defense. Ugly game. Beginning of the game, they made the stops they needed to make, though. End of the game, they forced them to a field goal. When he was driving up and down the field, gashing that defense yard for yard, they forced them to a field goal and said, here you go, Joe. Minute 50 left, make a play. Win us the football game. Does not happen. Sack first play of the drive. That was more, it looked like an offensive letdown in general. You know, as soon as he, they, they just got a good push on him. And it was downhill from there. Overtime. Defense once again. Now, again, we was concerned. Not going to lie. I thought he was going give to up, give up the touchdown on this one. But Lamar gives him a gift. Fumbles the snap. Defense recovers it. Defense brings it down the field a little bit. Maybe the defense shouldn't have brought it down the field. Maybe they are throwing the football then. But they bring it down to the field, get it around to 40. And Zach Taylor and the Bengals get the football in their hands to close the door. A second chance. Run, run, run against the league's number one ranked rush defense. The league's number one ranked rush defense. That was Zach Taylor getting conservative, knowing they weren't going anywhere with that run game against that defense. You don't, you don't plan to go anywhere against that run defense, knowing you're going to put your, your kicker in a position, knowing you're going to put your punter in a situation. They got to get a perfect snap, perfect placement, perfect kick, 53 yards. Everything's got to go right. And you was okay with that. To me, that's wild because you just put up 38 points. Your quarterback had five touchdowns. He had one interception. Was it his fault? Not really. No, that's a, that's a, that's a play. Him and Jamar work on, they know it's an anticipation thing where you knew, you expected Jamar to get the inside leverage to get that catch, to get the first down. It was a conservative play, could have closed up the game. It happened. It happened. It was an interception. Move on, right? I, I, you don't blame Joe for that. Joe was playing next to perfect out there, looking still. I mean, he's, what's crazy is this is the best we've seen Joe Burrow in the Joe Burrow era in Cincinnati for a full 60, for, for 58 minutes now, it seems like, but for, for the entirety of a game. You know, we normally see them kind of hit that second gear late in the uh, second quarter, entire second half, they go off win football games. We, we've just seen it from the get-go where this offense is clicking and looking stellar right out the gate. Once again today, big play after big play, even getting some uh, carries on the ground. The defense was stuck in. They started this game out six carries, 16 yards against Derrick Henry. You did what you had to do to get your offense into a positive game script and force Lamar to throw the football. Uh, the game plan was great from that regard. Again, they gave up 38. You don't want to do that. But you expected your offense to put up a lot of points, and they did. At the end of the day, your job as a defense, obviously your job as an offense, your job as a coach, you, you just want to put your team in a position to win a football game at the end of the game. And the Bengals have now had that chance in three games. And the good teams, the best of the best teams, what the Bengals did in the past under Joe Burrow is they won those games. They would have beat New England. They would have beat Kansas City. And they would have sure as heck beat the snot out of the Ravens today. That would be 4-1. and one. Now they're one in four. That is the difference in a playoff team and a team that misses playoffs year in and year out. And now, you know, feeling a little defeated. Feeling a little defeated here. You know, you're one in four. You got to essentially go 10 and two to finish the season if you want to make playoffs. You, you, you could get away with nine and three probably. Uh, 0 and three at home, no big concern there. You're going to have five, six home, home games the rest of the season. You, you got to win those games and you got to win the close ones when your team puts you in a position to win. And that's not happening. Hopefully, you know, we've seen a, they're a late blooming team. And, you know, the last three weeks, one thing we have seen at the Bengals is their offense is quick on all cylinders. A, a, their defense gets healthy. Their defense can, uh, you know, make a few stops. They can still win and go on a streak. You know, they're playing the best of the best. You know, they play the Chiefs, they play the Ravens, you know, two of the best teams in the league. And they stood their ground and they really should have won both of them. So there's no reason not to believe this team can't reel off 10 in a row. It's that concern that they haven't been able to close out the game. It's that concern that we're seeing some questionable 
coaching decisions late in two of those games that really have to concern you moving forward. We'll see, though. Again, remaining optimistic. Love y'all. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.